Hey guys, my name is Parker, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make the rattlesnake's tail. Alright, so let's get started. You don't need this right now. Alright, so make sure your red arrow is pointing away from you, like that. Okay, now I'm going to take my first color. My first color is going to be green. I'm going to do green and orange. So I'm going to take it and go like that. And then I'm going to take the same color and go over here like that. And then I'm going to take my other color, it's orange, take it and go not from here to here, but here to the middle peg. And do that with to the other side too. And you can see how it made a diamond shape. You're going to make those diamond shapes all the way up. And then just keep doing that. So remember to go always right. You always want to go right first, then left. And then just keep doing that. And I'm going to do my orange. The other side, do the other, other color, the other side, I'm just going to do this pretty much the whole way. And once we get to the end, we are gonna, I'm going to be showing you what to do with the last band you do. When you have a view may have done a lot of this maybe it's your first time whatever but this is a, be a beginner level so it is very easy to make not difficult at all it is a beginner level that's what I'm saying And those of you who think later on this is too hard or maybe too easy, if you think it's too hard, maybe you should do try a different video. But if it is too easy, you could probably do it. But most likely you'll be you'll get the catch of it or the hang of it. Sometimes you want to push down so you can have room for it. For the other rubber band. You can have room for the other other, other rubber band. It's kind of hard to say. As you can see, I am progressing to the top, because my top is right there. It doesn't take long for you to, to place the bands. Sometimes it might if you are, a, is, if, if this is your, um, one of your first bracelets you've ever made. Don't worry about messing up, because this part is pretty easy. Once we get to the middle, it gets a little bit challenging, but not too much.
Okay, I'm going to take another green and one more. And go right here. But we're not going to go from here to this peg. We're going to go from here to the middle. So, because if you went from here, it wouldn't really work. So, I'm going to take my next color. That's orange. And always start on the right. Go like that. Take another orange and go from to the left. All right, now this is what you, it should look like so far. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is go to the top. Go to the top, take a gr your opposite color from that. So mine is green, and then I'm gonna take and we're gonna, I'm gonna make a cat band. So take two fingers like this, twist it and make an eight. Then take two fingers and put it on like that, so it should look like that when you're doing it. Okay, but then now we're gonna go put it on this peg and then put it on there both sides remember and then it should go on like that that's what it should look like okay now what I'm gonna do is flip it around so the red arrow is pointing towards you and then I'm going to go to the beginning so you have your cat band then you're going to take your hook and then what are you going to do? I'm going to zoom in for you guys I'm going to pull back this you see this? I'm going to hook the first rubber band I'm going to take it off, then pull it over here. It got stuck there. There we go, and that's what it should, you should do. Okay, next one, you're going to pull back your capping band. And then pull up your orange. Pull down your capping band. Bring it over here. Yeah, it got stuck again. And that's what you should do so it's kind of looking more like some pebbles right here okay so now you're gonna t go to this one start from the right always pull back your two or my your two first colors and then you're gonna hook your green I'm gonna hook my green and put it to the middle then I'm gonna push this one down like that. Then I'm gonna pull back my orange ones, do the other side, and pull up my green. And bring it to the middle. That's what it should you should do. And then it kind of looks like a plane right here. You see that? Kind of looks like a plane. Here's a wings, tail, and then your head. Okay, so next you're gonna go in there. Pull back all your green ones, but then you're going to hook your first orange one, your first one, not your second one, so it should be on top, then hook it over there, do the same thing, but then hook it on your other side, or place it to the other side, that's what it should look like, kind of looks like a spider now, almost. You're going to keep doing that until you reach the end. I'm going to push that one down because it looks like it's going to fall. Just keep doing that until you reach the end. Sometimes it is hard to pull back those rubber bands those 
middle rubber bands. Well, your my green ones. Sometimes it's hard. Maybe it's hard for you. Maybe it's not. But that's okay if it is hard, because it's nothing to worry about. I'm not trying to rush you. And if you do, and if you do feel rushed, just pause it. I might do it a little fast this time, because I think you guys got the hang of it and keep doing what I'm saying. Just keep doing that. Go to the middle. Pull back your orange. Pull it there. Pull back all those. Pull up my first, my first, my top one. Then pull down the other one. I'm gonna pull back my orange. Pull up my green. Put it to the middle. Push it down. Pull it up my green. Pull it. Pull back all my greens. Get my oranges. And my orange, just one. Sometimes you might hook two, but that will be okay. Ah, it's getting weird right there. Okay, pull back all my greens, get my orange, my top orange, remember. Might end up weird if you do the bottom one first, that's why I'm going to do the top one always. That's why we're doing right first, because your top ones are always going to be the right. Okay, see how this kind of got weird? That's okay. I'm just going to take the back side, pull it so it's like that. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Pull back my greens, pull up my orange, go over here, do that again. Push it down so I can put my other orange, my other green on there. Pull back all my greens. Oops. Pull up my orange. Pull up my other orange. See how I'm getting to the end? I'm getting more and more closer to the end. Move this, sorry if I threw you off. Okay. Pull up my top one. Come back over here. Pull up my other orange. Go over here. See how it, I'm getting to the end? It's kind of looking like, like spiders or almost just some weird person or something. Just pull it to the middle. Push the middle down. Pull up the other one. Pull it back. Oh, my greens. Excuse me. Pull it back, go to this, this one, go to that one, okay, now you see this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it just like normal, it's gonna be just like normal, so you're, but you're just going right there and just leaving it, we're not gonna do anything else to it, okay, here is my, this is what it should look like, Okay.
Okay, so next, what you're gonna do, sorry about that, um, you're gonna scrunch all these up like that. Okay, next, you're gonna get your hook, go through the channel, then you're gonna stick it out the side like that. Okay, since this is green, I'm gonna do the opposite color. That's my orange. Oops, wrong color. And then I'm gonna go like that so it's hanging. But next, you just want to. I'm gonna twist it because sometimes it gets tangled. Then I'm gonna bring it through the channel, twist, and then it's gonna end up like that. Then I'm gonna. Take this side and then go like that so both sides are on the hook. And then I'm going to take it. Sorry about that. I'm going to take it and then pull it up to the big part of my hook. And then I'm going to just pull it up. Just pull it off. Okay. So now it should look like that. And then next, you don't need this, so you can set that aside for a while. Okay. See how my arrow is pointing towards me? I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Now we're going to use this part. Okay, so you should probably, but if your hand, you can mostly, most likely keep it like that if your hand, if you're a kid. But if you're making this for your mom or dad or whatever, whoever, your guardian, your, whoever, you can just do that and just add them. So you're just going to put a rubber band here and then your next one. And you're just going to do that to this part. Pull it up and do that. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oops. Okay. So next, I'm going to take my C-clip. Oops. My C-clip. I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to pull it, push it on there. So it should be like that. I'm just going to take that part off. Okay, I have my C clip on like that. Okay, next, what I'm gonna do, I can set my loom aside now because I'm not gonna use it anymore. See this part? What I'm doing with my finger, I'm gonna put two fingers in and then I'm gonna set my hook aside so I'm like this. And then it's just like the fishtail, like that. But then you're going to hook it like that. And then there 